you already know who we are. Welcome, Welcome to, to our hotel, hotel review. What you were just looking at. The other side of this big building is Ayala Mall. And just down here this way is another side entrance to Ayala Mall. The terraces and where we went to the Green Apple Denim yesterday. And this is where we've been, been staying, that it's uh, Cebu Park Lane International Hotel. It's actually a really nice place. So why don't we take you inside and we'll show you the desk clerk in the lobby and we'll go up to the fourth floor and show you the uh, gym and... Swimming pool. I guess it's a restaurant in there too, but maybe because of the current situation, not a whole lot's been open. Yep. But I need to grab my food. Yep. We're at the gate, so now normally they will check the thermometer. Wanna check our... You don't mind the camera, right? <laughs> the new normal. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so this is the entrance. It's kind of, and then we have this store, the 24 7 grocery store. And they have BDO. Which is kind of a cool thing because that's actually our bank, so. Yeah. And then if you want to wait here and sit down. This is actually really cool. And then you could see too. That they've got a really neat diorama of the different points in Cebu City. I'm not sure what all of these are. Oh, these are numbered. I just now noticed that. We can go around and find all of them. <laughs> I really should have done that as my homework. Number 11 right here is, is Santa Nina Shrine? Yeah. And this is Fuentes on Osmania Circle, yeah. which is just down the way from here. Correct. And that's Fort San Pedro? Yep, good job. The big old Spanish fort here. You know that bridge? Montana Bridge? Oh, yeah. yep. Okay. And I'm not sure what the other one is. There's, There's two, two current There's two. and they're building a third. Yeah, going to Cordova. But over here they've got a little bit of lobby area. Yep. And our really neat desk people. Yep. That they have been immensely helpful throughout this because of the current situation that we've had to have some paperwork and documents printed out that were emailed to us the COVID test, uh, barangay admission slip, and, and just some other stuff. And so, they gave us an email address and we emailed it to that address and they just printed it out for us. Yep. So, and we haven't used it a whole lot, but they haven't charged us either. So that, that's actually a cool thing. I don't know. I you think. used to have a breakfast buffet here. There's where you eat before when it, it's the normal thing. They have breakfast, so you Right go. now, I guess you've got to order everything on a cart. Yeah. But they really don't have the buffet up and going anymore. Yeah. Or you uh, could go here eat also. Yeah, it's Manuel's restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. We've gotten room service the entire time we were here. Yeah. It's been really good. Yeah. But we'll take you up to the elevator, and we'll go up to the fourth floor, where they've got the gym and the... Uh, Pool and again, they've got a restaurant, uh, nightclub, night lounge area. Yeah. That again isn't being used much. But hey, elevator. Now floors one through four, you don't need a cart. To go above floor four, uh, five and up, you got to use a card pass. We'll show you that in a minute. And here we are. Quick trip. Again, okay, they have a pretty nice seating area. Advertising the restaurant.
they've got a nice gym area that they can work out out of yeah. respect to others and just you again need, social distancing we won't go inside right now yeah you need to reserve to use it yeah you, you can reserve in two hour block two hour blocks yes uh and it it books up kind of quick at normal space and again to do swimming you've got to reserve a block yeah for two hours so uh a lot of things aren't quite open like they should be or, or used to be but they're open so that you can do stuff which is actually really cool over here we've seen them set up for it a few times do they serve food up here no oh the buffet saturday oh that's just on saturday yeah okay the suit to kill i guess you could they during the day, they've always got the chairs down, so I guess you can come here and sit and have coffee or whatever. But I, I don't know what is and isn't open. I haven't seen anybody here, but a couple times we came down, we, we've seen like empty beer bottles or, or other remnants of people having been here. And the smokers lounge is over there behind those white circles. But over here, you can actually get a little bit better views of that area that I was trying to show you where they had a side entrance in there. And here you can actually see something kind of interesting. Interesting traffic. Yeah, underneath that bridge on the corner over there by where the fence on the sidewalk is, they've got a checkpoint that you've got to go through. But the sidewalk on this side it's is only out. <laughs> you can't go in. You can only go in over there. You can't come out that side. Uh, we did find out if you take a cab, mm -hmm. you can bypass the checkpoint and don't need your quarantine passes. But you need to go in the other direction. Go circle. Like what we did yesterday, last night. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. But we're going to head up to our room at this point. As soon as I get back out of here. We're actually going to cut this off because it could be potentially a little too humorous to watch me back out of here. Yeah, we're back at the elevators now. So we'll take you in here. Yep. Like I say, to go to the 12th floors and above, it won't work until you tap the card. Yep. Or 5th floors and above. It oh, won't they work. were doing down. <laughs> okay. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> Don't know what happened on that one. Just technical error. Oh, well. Yeah, they get a counter. It Six. goes all the way up. Eight. Yeah, this is actually a pretty cool thing. That's what uh, a lot of people like here, that they've got this stuff. A lot of really neat amenities in here. For sure, yep. But this is on our room. Excuse our room. This is a lot of stuff, luggage. I don't know if the white chair designates a quarantine room or not. But the entire time we were under quarantine, we had it out there. Yeah, and I bring it inside, so. But again, typical. Rooms. They gave us two cards, and so we left one in the card slot so that we would continue to power on even when we were gone. Yeah. And this is it. This is the... Right there is the bathroom. This is the bathroom. It's kind of messy. Excuse us. We're trying to clean it up. Yeah, normally we do these after we've done all the cleaning so that we get a double check to make sure that we missed, haven't missed anything. But they've got the hot and cold running water. Instead of the, the little soap bars and stuff that they used to have, they've got these dispensers. Yeah. 
I'm not sure if that's because of COVID or just cheaper. That's, yeah. Our bedroom is the packing area. <laughs> yeah, everything got packed into the bed. The, all they've got is just the hot pot, but that's really all you need. And they've the, got a nice little refridge. Yeah. And a closet there. And it'll take a two liter bottle of soda. Yep. Uh, they've got the single desk for the, uh, you know, doing computer work. They got a neat little closet with a handful of hangers. Yep. And then they've got a nice little room safe in here. Mm -hmm. And we found out we were able to stick two laptops in there. Yeah. And it's just, it's typical room safe. You just hit the four numbers. And that's our window view. Yeah, we had nice mountain views. That's pretty. And supposedly this uh, compound right here is the M. Wellier family. Yeah, resort. That owned the big uh, uh, remittance company here in the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, we thought it was a resort, but these, there's a friend of ours, cab driver, that he knows a lot about Cebu and its history. Yeah. That he's the one that told us, no, that's the M. Wellier uh, family compound, that it's been there forever. Yeah. And obviously that they've had a lot built up around it and kind of, I don't know if that's actually squatters area or just a uh, low income area. But that's it. That's the overview review of this. Overall, I'd be re I was real satisfied with it. Yeah, me too. Uh, the room's a little bit smaller than we, we normally like, but it was more than comfortable. Yeah, and it's... And really all we did is slept in here. Uh, the couple days we were under quarantine, we just slept because of jet lag. Yeah. I, I'd stay here again in a heartbeat. Yep. Uh, when we come back for the dental exam, we're probably gonna go into the uh, Hotel Elizabeth though, simply because of the executive suite that they've got that's really affordable. Yeah. Uh, so here towards the end of October, kind of expect another hotel review to go up. Yep. But that's it for now. Mabuhai. Mabuhai.